grab, I'm gonna grab ten of those and put them in the, in the truck, just so that we're ready. Hey, you guys have seen the mic test? At the mic beginning test? of all this, we were hopeful young men, fresh-faced and ready for adversity. I pushed a fork out. Little did we know just what was in store for us. Fork and beans! Depending on what we find in there, so what other items we may have on uh, us for today. As far as resupply goes, uh, it's pretty limited. Uh, sources are, resources are pretty tied up right now. The mission seemed easy enough. Move into the town, dispense freedom, and exfil, all in time for supper. I didn't go over this in the uh, brief, but uh, ROE is uh, hold fire until fire upon. Good read. As soon as Fod said this, we started taking fire from the town we were headed into. This was the first sign that things might not go quite so easy for us. We have shots coming from the town. Uh, bearing 310. Is that tower? Tower's down. Clear, right? Building clear, compound clear. It was at this point I was feeling quite cocky. We'd taken up the first contacts with no issue and we're making good headway through the compounds. We've got more in the compound right next to Sol and I. Let's try to stick uh, to the entrances along the road. We don't want to get too separated out. There's a door on the side there. We can go and reach it through. Opening. There. Got another building to the right. Clear, right? And we ran back into Red Squad, those beautiful bastards. Compounds clear. It's roof access. It became very apparent through this campaign that none of us had exercised prior to this mission. Dude, my guy is so unfit. We regrouped with the main force of Red Squad and started heading towards the town. Roger that. Someone keep eyes right, I'll watch front. Thank you. Multiple sieves down in the center of town. This is where our confidence was our undoing. Let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we had managed to forget that explosives exist. Yeah, we could grab another. Uh, yeah. I'm sure I think we just walked it. It's really not far. Yeah, it's like less than a kid. We also forgot just how unfit we are. And just how to exit our fog. Alrighty. With this tower here. Nope, it's not. I was wrong. How do I get out of here? Just uh, keep following yeah, it around. The exit's uh, towards the one building that's. To your left. Drop it. No, you're coming back. Wrong way. There's a door this way. This, this is where is we exited like from. Freedom. My guy's already tired. Yeah, these guys have really been, uh... Skipping. 
every exercise. <laughs> yeah, man. COVID-19 hit, they're like, I don't need to work out. What are you talking about? I'm a little bit sleepy. <laughs> Is it impossible to recover from a lot of lost one in your head? <laughs> we very quickly regretted our decision not to take a Humvee and headed back to get some wheels. That was a very dirty IED because I'm an idiot. I... I don't know why, but it completely skipped my mind that they even had IEDs. What's that? It, it completely like passed my mind that they even had IEDs. Yeah, we talked about it last night, but it was like kind of late, and I and I forgot. <laughs> I think I've even got a defusal <laughs> kit on me. I just <laughs> didn't register at all. I even had a mine detector, but I needed to shave some weight, so I dropped it at base. <laughs> oh, yikes. Again. Right, we're back in. Yeah, they've got a pretty decent perimeter set up. We should be out to just move in. One hopes. Unless we find the second secret IED. <laughs> yeah, the other IED that he actually hated was. Does anyone have any injuries? Was there ever any patch? Only emotional. Always time for a little bit of OTF. I've never heard anything more relatable in my life. Fod and I managed to regroup with the boys and continued with the mission. Don't step on mine. Step on mine. Thank you. Foxy, you're talking in game. There's, uh, we've seen guys with guns in there that haven't been engaging us. Thanks, buddy. So uh, pressing uh, Alt and uh, Caps Lock. Okay. Rob updates me that there's armed boys right next to us. Yeah, those guys have guns. They yeah. are not engaging. Hey, to our guys up on the hill, can you see these uh, guys at the marks that they've got? Negative. Okay, Roger. Okay, cool. We're gonna uh, push down to the right. Copy that. And then clear up these uh, buildings. We moved further into the town, seizing a rooftop for our vantage, just as an enemy transport turns up. Uh, everyone truck coming up the road. Hold position, see if it passes. So like, you might want to get on the roof with your uh, launcher just in case. I was designated as our anti-tank personnel, a daunting task and I was just going to be happy if I didn't blow any friendlies up. Of course, I didn't tell anyone about my inexperience. Remember, are we? Rolled out uh, on the other side of the compound. Roger. Yeah, I don't have any eyes on it, I can hear it. Yeah, insurgents just dismounted. We move over six guys. Roger. Looks like they're getting reinforcements. Hello. So this is a. Uh... Here we go. <laughs> this was to be our first major contact. Enemy transport had dropped off reinforcements to the boys that we'd already been engaging. Look at the dismounted 290. Oh, yeah, they're firing. What, the three? That poor guy in the window. As much as I want to light these boys up, I am very conscious about shooting Fod in the back of the head. Oh, 
Oh, there's one more there. Just look to the right. He's, yeah, he's peeking, he's peeking. Is he down? Oh, no. Negative. There you go, that guy's down. Banging up. Yep, blood bags, you need any? On the road. Oh, I don't need blood bags. Uh, looks like he was just armor, just armor hit. Okay. Let's see the left side of that tower. Like that may be dead. Rush. Uh, I'd like a shot, and I think that he passed out. At least there's no MPs about. We literally have an MP in chat. He saw everything. We're oh gonna boy. have to kill Speederbolt now. No witnesses. Yes. Yeah, so He's, he's not gonna come back. I appreciate you guys trying, but uh, we're just gonna have to put this. There's only one thing we can do. Award. We have to raise the entire village. Yeah, we can't. We can't have any, any witnesses. Going full Vietnam with this thing. Yeah. No, we should. Yeah. Can't tell if that's Civ. He went behind the bush. Was it a civilian behind the bush? Will Slug and the rest of the boys complete the mission? Tune in to the next episode of Operation Pressure Cooker to find out.